Hello, welcome to bowhunterplanet.com and on today's show we explore the whitetail legend from bear archery. <laughs> So for those you don't know, Fred Bear is one of the most recognized names in the sport of archery. Why? Because he helped bring traditional bows to the market early on uh, as being one of the first people to do so. And then eventually, Fred Bear moved into the compound market and then from there, you know, everything just went nuts. But Fred Bear was a huge hunter. He went out and did all these expeditions around the world. In late autumn, Fred Bear, Russ Wright, and Glenn St. Charles board the 45-foot Valiant Maid in Cordova to begin a hunt with bow and arrow for the giant brown bear. The skipper is Ed Bilderback, veteran resident and guide of southeastern Alaska. the bear is heading his way. Very suddenly his chance comes and the shot is made. The bear travels only as far as the nearest alder thicket before collapsing. The brownie is dragged out of the brush into the open and happily inspected before being taken back to the skiff. I'm Fred Bear. Archery has always been my sport. It's fun and recreation for the entire family. Why don't you try it sometime? And be sure to be with me next week for my next story in my world of adventure. And that's what made his name very synonymous with archery. And he filmed those and wrote books about them and everything. So the bear archery name has become legendary in the industry. This bow is a makeup of the original whitetail hunter bow. So what, what bear was trying to do with this bow was bring back that name, bring back a classic name to the industry and uh, give you guys an option here at a very low cost and a reliable bow. One of the most important things that Fred Bear wanted to do and installed in this company was they, he wanted people to be able to purchase a bow and afford it. And that's what has happened here with this bow. $499.99 for a ready to hunt package at a very smooth, a uh, single cam bow that's going to provide up to 320 feet per second. Today we're going to test that number and see what it looks like with a hunting rig, but before you see a very nice bow uh, built with a lot of quality and love and uh, just a really great remembrance of Fred Bear himself. The classic Whitetail Hunter bow was first introduced by Fred Bear in the 1970s. And the next step, the biggest thing that's happened in archery and a great many years is a compound bow. And that's the bows with the wheels on the ends and the cables. The handle is usually uh, magnesium, could be wood. The limbs are usually laminated like the conventional longbow, but could also be solid fiberglass. <coughs> we have uh, cams or eccentrics on the end here. And the, what they do is, on, a, on a, any, every other type of bow, it gets heavier as you pull it back. This bow, it gets easier as you pull it back by as much as 50%. So you can have a 50-pound bow that pulls 50 pounds up here, and when you get back to full draw, to the length of the arrow, it drops off to 25 pounds, and it's quite an advantage because uh, it's very easy to hold 25 pounds as against holding 50 pounds while you're uh, aiming. And so this bow is, uh, the compound bow, is taking over and about uh, nine out of ten of bows that are sold and used today are made like this. The concept was very simple. It would allow people to go out and hunt and bring home meat to put on their plates and feed their kids. They added a new draw stop to this bow so it makes a very solid back wall and a very good shooting experience. The bow is a ready to hunt package. It features a Trophy Ridge Volt 5 pen sight, quick shot whisker biscuit, static six stabilizer, no tie peep sight, and D-loop. Similar stats on this bow are 31 inch axle axle, 
uh, 23 to 30 inch draw lengths you can adjust it to, 4.3 pounds, 6.75 inch brace height and 80% let off. So you're gonna get a very smooth bow, very good solid numbers. And um, again, you bring a lot of that tech that uh, Bear is bringing to their other models at a very low cost. They got the shockwaves on this bow as well on the limbs. And also they got those cool limbs as we talked about in the inception in the pocket that are gonna be uh, thicker and uh, thinner at the top and they go flatter and wider. So taking a quick look back at the Inception, you can see it does have a little bit different shelf. Dual cam bow, and this is a single cam bow, so it's gonna be a little bit different. Generally, dual cam bows are a little bit faster, a little more powerful, um, but the other thing is single cam bows are generally smoother, so that's kind of what comes of those two different options there. So again, $4.99 ready to hunt package on this Bear Whitetail Legend. Um, and $5.99 the Inception, the video we did just before this. Uh, and that just goes to show you the, again, flexibility that Bear has for you as a consumer. They give you a lot of options when you're shooting. Both beautiful bows, both great options, and makes it really hard to choose, to be honest. So again, this is the Redemption. It's a little bit more going on here, a lot more in the riser, as you can see. It's a dual cam, it's got the new EKO cam. Uh, this bow is around $1,000 MSRP, so it just goes to show you the difference in price um, you know what you're gonna get so it's definitely a different bow but you know depending on what you're doing again this is a very smooth 500 bucks ready to hunt package uh, I'm not sure you can beat that to be honest for such a solid bow and a lightweight bow and small maneuverable bow all right guys we've got the whitetail legend we're gonna speed test it here in just a second before we do that I just want to talk about the colors the bow is available in this olive It's available in shadow black it's also available in the Fred Bear original camos. All right, before we get to the shots though, one last thing, just wanna say a special thanks to Cobra Archery for supporting the show and helping us uh, get this thing off the ground for you guys. It's always important to have some good partners as well as Dead Down Winning Tanks. They're always helping us uh, to get things going for you guys. All right, 70 pounds, 29 inches of draw, Whitetail Legend, first arrow, 350 grains. 450 grains. 257. 550 grains. 235. Last arrow, 687 grains. 214. All right guys, so 291, which was at 29 inches of draw, 70 pounds, uh, and 350 grain arrow, so 291. Not horrible and not bad. I mean, they're saying 320, so that's actually pretty close depending on what they do for IBO. So we got the Whitetail Legend speed at 291 with that same setup. And if I look at the Inception, I got 329. So it just goes to show you a little bit of the differences in the bows, but also the dual cam compared to a single cam. So if you're looking for a lot more speed, you should probably consider a dual cam. But um, if you're okay with that, that that speed, then you know if you want more smoothness and relaxation, then you definitely want to check out a single cam. All right, let's let them fly here. So I, I took it down about four turns. I would guess I'm probably around 60 pounds, just over. And uh, let's see how this thing, see how it goes. First, we're gonna test uh, the smoothness. So let's do that. Oh, well, that's nice. So let's talk about play a little bit, right? So this bow, again, pretty lightweight, feels very good in your hand. It's a very small, maneuverable bow. So let's say I'm pulling back, which comes in a nice stop there. And so basically you have, let's say a quarter inch of movement before it wants to go. So just to give you an idea. But otherwise, it holds back real nice. If we've learned anything from our friend Ted Nugent, we know that 48 pounds is killing deer left and right. So it's more about accuracy, the broadhead, and putting it where it needs to be. But also the big thing is, and I say it a lot, but alertness. As long as your deer is not alert, you should be good to go. If a deer is at full alert, then you really do have to think twice about when you shoot.
All right, guys, the Whitetail Legend from Bear Archery. I mean, what more can you ask for, honestly? It's a very smooth bow. It's not the fastest bow in the world, so I guess you could try to get a little more speed out of it. But again, as we talked about, a single cam is not going to get you top speeds, right? We looked at the inception against this one. We could see that having two cams made it a little bit faster. But what it does have is a super smooth draw cycle. It's very nice, especially for 500 bucks out the door. I mean, that's crazy, right? 500 bucks um, for this bow is incredible. It's super light, super compact. It's nice to shoot, it feels great. I'm actually thinking about contemplating right now using this on a hunt coming up I have because I was thinking how nice this bow is, especially for getting in and out of the field. Uh, it's got a great texture to it. It feels really nice in your hand. Um, I love, again, how it's ready to hunt. And again, you get trophy rich products. So you can't go wrong. They have so many great things. Um, and you can update them. I mean, you could technically maybe, I don't even know if they, they might sell it without a package. I don't know, you have to look that up. But you could actually swap these for other things too if you wanted, you know, it just depends on you. Again, uh, didn't feel much vibration with this bow, just like the Inception. I think the shockwaves really help with that. Taking that out of the picture. I love the peep sight. I love that I can slide up and down real quickly and get that in. Uh, I haven't had any issues with that. So that's been nice. I love they put on the side here the Fred Bear Way established in 1933 that's pretty unique so if you look at the riser two guys on this bow it's a really cool looking riser and i didn't talk about it much in the beginning but look at the cutouts here in here you know on this riser they look really really good i think bear did an excellent job with this bow and again thank you to bear for providing bows that are such good price points that allow people to get outside and get outdoors now if you're looking for a bow and you're in the market and you want to spend about 500 bucks on a bow this could be a huge home run for you. Uh, definitely recommend it. Made in the USA. Great product right here uh, from Bear Archery. So check out Bear Archery online at beararchery.com. We'll see you guys next time at bowhunterplant.com. And if you're new around here, make sure you subscribe. Please do it. We want to make sure you guys get to see all the latest videos and hit us a like and a thumbs up, whatever you want to call it. Doesn't matter. Let's have some fun. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.